Namaste, my name is Sushmita and you are watching my English channel Sushmita Madhu. In this video, I will explain you about ETL tool that is Informatica. So, how this Informatica careers, roadmap, career path, job roles, responsibilities, a, a complete overview of Informatica ETL career, I will explain you in this video. It is going to be very important video for both fresher students, freshers or students also and already, already working professionals who want to migrate towards Informatica ETL careers. For both the categories, this video is going to be very useful. Watch this video till the end. Now, there is a disclaimer. In this video, I am going to explain you Informatica ETL career as an overview from career perspective. So, I won't say that the same process, the same things are followed in each and every company. ETL process, Informatica job roles, responsibility skills differs from company to company, project to project. So, this is a disclaimer. Now, what is Informatica? Informatica is a ETL tool. ETL stands for Extract, Transform and Load. Extract, Transform, Load. So, in product based companies where huge data is collected from their uh, applications, their software, their website, their marketing activities, when huge data is collected, product based companies, they have to extract data from different different sources. And in this extraction process, there is a specific process called data integration. Data integration is where all the data will be from structured and unstructured uh, different different sources. So, all these structured and unstructured data is integrated and a unified view is created by Informatica software. Informatica is a software that is developed by a company. The company name is also Informatica. So, Informatica as a company, they created multiple software products. Out of multiple products, there are two products. First product is Informatica Power Center and the second product is Informatica Cloud. Now, both these products are used for data integration activities only. In today's generation, in today's IT market, in, uh, Informatica cloud is in more demand. Why? Because the databases, uh, all the data is stored in the cloud and cloud integration. So, lot of people are, lot of companies are using cloud. That is the reason Informatica cloud is in more demand these days. Now, who uses Informatica? Let us also understand that. As I told you, all product based companies, also software service based companies which create software or which, uh, which who are working on clients products or they have their own in-house products these companies because of the huge data they have to maintain they use these kind of softwares one of the software is Informatica now are there any competitors for Informatica yes definitely Informatica also has many competitors example Hadoop IBM data stage Pentaho data integration and there are plenty of uh, competitors uh, can I uh, can I name any example companies which are using Informatica? Yes, there is TCS, Accenture, IBM, Deloitte. There are many multinational companies which are using Informatica uh, in the ETL process for data integration activities. Now, to become an uh, informat to take Informatica as as a career. What are the skill set a particular candidate has to learn? Now, the basic uh, skill set is definitely they have to learn Informatica tool, Informatica cloud or Informatica power center. Apart from that, they also have to understand what is Informatica MDM, master data management. They have to understand data quality and data warehousing and all those concepts. Not only in, about Informatica, but if you want to sustain in this competitive world, then I would say you also have to learn additional skills, secondary skills or additional skills. What are the additional skills I would recommend? Apart from Informatica, you also have to learn how to, how to work on databases. You have to learn SQL, Oracle, MySQL, MS SQL, Teradata. Take any database and uh, get expertise in that. Learn that database and understand each and every concept of the data dip. database. Become an expert in that. Database you have to learn. You have to learn shell scripting or Python. Totally depends on your interest. You also have to learn BI tools. BI means business intelligence tools. B data visualization tools. Example, Power BI is there. Tableau is there. So, these kind of tools 
which helps in data uh, data visualization or which helps in business uh, business uh, insights giving business insights so you can you can you should also learn these additional or secondary skills also there are many etl tools one of them is Ebinitio. Ebinitio is also a tool that is used for data processing. So there are plenty of tools that are used in the ETL process, extract, transform and loading process. So learn multiple tools which are used in ETL process that will definitely give more weightage to your profile and there will be very high chances of you getting selected in the interview process. Now, now where can you learn this Informatica? Uh, tool or the software there are many training institutes or training uh, trainers good trainers in the market there are many youtube channels as well but i would recommend if you want to learn from basics informatica.com website the actual company website is enough to learn the basics of informatica you visit their website informatica.com and check their about us page check their uh, training university page check their careers page also you will get, you will understand you will get you can see many of the trainings that they are providing from their website from their experts informatica experts beautiful training programs are conducted and uh, uh, available on the website itself informatica.com once you learn informatica you can also come and check for any career job openings uh, available in this company they have multiple branches multiple com offices in india so check as per your comfortable place or location you can apply for the jobs also there is also a there is also something called certification if you are a certified informatica etl developer that will definitely give more weightage to your profile so you can also do the certification from their company website informatica.com now what is the eligibility criteria if you want to take informatica etl as a serious career i mean to say if you want to go towards this career path what should be the eligibility criteria i would say any graduate but companies or multinational companies they give first preference to people who are from computer science background from cs background btech cs or bca computer application background those people are given first preference by multinational companies but there is an exceptional case also if you have if you are not from computer science background there is also a possibility uh, the possibility is if companies are not finding deserving candidates from the computer science lot then they move towards the non-computer science lot but again because i say there is an exceptional case you have to be exceptionally skilled in all these um, primary skills and additional skill primary skill means about learning about informatica etl process and all and uh, secondary skills would be learning about database about python shell scripting initio and uh, different etl tools understanding these things are secondary secondary skills so if you are a uh, very if you are skilled and you are a deserving candidate having a non back computer science background uh, graduation degree then also they will give preference but you have to be the deserving candidate that is the uh, that is the eligibility criteria now next one is uh, what are the job roles usually given by these companies there are multiple job roles totally depends on the responsibilities uh, very few job roles i would say informatica developer informatica tester informatica administrator informatica consultant informatica architect i mean to say architect is a person who has 8 years or 10 years of experience so very high experienced candidates usually get this architect designation there is also another designation informatica application developer so these are the different uh, job roles or designations given to candidates who are hired for a specific responsibility for a specific job role there are also few companies which gives designations like uh, etl informatica developer etl developer in informatica so designations may vary it do totally depends from company to company but the basic work will be the same you will be working on the data and etl process so i hope you got some idea about etl uh, and the informatica tool now remember one thing uh, there are many training institutes which teaches uh, informatica before joining any training institute or before joining any trainer you should ask them if they are going to train you on informatica power center or informatica cloud as i told you at the beginning informatica cloud is the uh, the product that is in high demand these days so you should always prefer 
you should always learn the tools that are high demand in the market now what is the scope what is the future growth of informatica as a career or etl developer as a career i would say there is huge demand there will be huge demand in the market also reason because data is the fuel for any business as i tell everyone data is the fuel every business they they analyze their data because data is used for reporting analysis forecasting uh, understanding business growth understanding business challenges so all these product based companies or service based companies they invest huge amount to maintain the data for data security and etc now because data is very valuable they also need some processes some tools to maintain that data secure that data and all those stuff right so when they use tools they also companies also need few experts to work on the tools so that is the reason uh, informatica experts or etl experts requirement will be very huge in the next 5 and 10 years in the market also so there is definitely going to be very good scope very good growth for etl developers or informatica ka developers informatica uh, job roles in future so i hope i have given some in good information to you if you feel that yes this video has added some value to you please click this please click the like button and share this video with your friends and family members as well now uh, now another question is lot of people have this question uh, will there be coding in informatica if i choose informatica as my career do i need to code as i told at the uh, at the beginning there will not be any coding responsibilities but yes if you are a developer there might be few uh, few situations where you need to script because there will be lot of automation process used so scripting work or responsibilities might be there it totally depends from project to project now if a person already working in informatica if he want to upgrade what are the different ways he can upgrade yes they can move towards uh, bi bi tool business intelligence or business uh, uh, tools that gives uh, data visualization kind of thing so a person who has two or three years of informatica or etl process ex uh, experience they can move towards bi power bi tableau this kind this route if if people have if somebody has uh, knowledge or somebody wants to go move towards the data uh, data warehousing warehouse snowflake will be a good option for them to upgrade their skills to take their career to the next level if a person has uh, in uh, interest in coding python and uh, coding uh, programming languages also they can move towards data engineering data engineering machine learning artificial inter uh, intelligence that side also people can move once they have two or three years of experience in informatica or etl process now uh, for freshers how can they move to to this profession i mean to say etl uh, jobs or uh, informatica jobs there are three ways people get into this uh, this kind of career first way is uh, if a person is uh, campus placed i mean to say companies have directly go to the college they have picked them from the college then campus placed students also get placed in e etl processes or informatica jobs second way is off campus placement you have you applied in a company through your referral your friend and family members or something like that you applied through naukri or uh, Uh, you just uh, walked into a interview and you got selected so off campus interview off campus placement also few people get into etl processes or uh, informatica jobs the third way is somebody already working in it for example somebody is working in software testing they have two years of experience in software testing or automation testing now they want to go into etl process they can they can learn the skills and they can also move towards etl processes jobs or informatica jobs so these are the three ways i have explained you now what will be the salaries if we, if somebody gets gets into etl uh, this kind of jobs if someone is a, uh, picked from the college in campus placement their salary may range from 6 lakhs to 8 lakhs per annum salary if campus placement students second type uh, of campus placement their salary might range from 3.5 lakhs per annum to 5 lakhs per annum 3.5 to 5 lakhs it totally depends from city to city hyderabad Uh, salaries might be different from bangalore salaries so it totally depends from city to city also and the third thing uh, if someone is already working in it and now moving into etl process or informatica jobs then depending on their previous salary 30% 50% or depending on the new company's project requirement that much 
uh, salary will be given to an already experienced uh, IT professional. So this was about the salary I have explained about ETL jobs and Informatica jobs. Informatica is a tool or a software that is used in the whole ETL process. So I hope I have given you some good information. If you have any questions, you can definitely put down your questions. I also want to know, are you planning to learn Informatica or you have already learned about Informatica? You're looking for job, you're searching for job as an ETL developer or Informatica developer. What exactly you are you have learned till now let me know in the comment section of this video share this video with your friends and family members also in whatsapp group telegram group facebook groups and instagram as well so if you're watching this video for the first time my name is sushmita and i am uh, i'm a business owner and this is my english channel sushmita madhu i create videos on job career and interview preparations very frequently so do subscribe and don't forget to click that small bell icon my name is sushmita thank you so much and namaste